Is it harder or is it easier for an Asian man to date in America than it was 15 years ago? We're going to try to break this question down. Oh man, I feel like this topic goes viral every one to two weeks on the internet. And there's like so many people that have so much to say about it because obviously you have to take your own individual circumstances into consideration, your own locality, your city, your community, and of course societal shifts that are often very difficult to succinctly explain in a few sentences because it's society. It's a very bird's eye thing to analyze. Yeah, and everybody has a different perspective. However, we are going to try to give you somewhat of a concise answer in this video. So please stay tuned, hit that like button, and check out other episodes of the Hop Hop Boys because this is not the first time or the last time we address this topic. Uh, but real quick, shout out to smallassauce.com. This is our very own chili oil, our first uh, consumer packaged good that we're sending out to people. So check it out, smallassauce.com, made with real truffle, made in America, very delicious. Um, Andrew, what are your facts, your own personal facts of the dating landscape? Okay, so I think, first of all, we have to understand, and this is, uh, to me, an indisputable truth, having been someone who has lived on this earth for more than 15 years, there is no better time in American history to be an Asian male. Any type of Asian. I get it, there's different types of Asians. Let's just say any type of Asian, it is still the best time than ever. Now, we what, can what does argue, that mean, though? Because no, that's a very, like, kind of vague thing to say to no, people. Well, well, like, we can, I'm like, well, what does that mean? We can argue on how good it is, but it, I think it's indisputable that it's better. We have way more media representation. I think there's a lot more Asian guys in politics and movies uh, have made it in America. There's a lot more Asian male community. A but lot what more, if I like that style where we just came over as immigrants, people got matched off when they were about 19 years old and then just lived life? What if... I would have done better in that era. Hmm? Well, you can still do that. I mean, there's still matchmaking and arranged marriages, you know, uh, especially back in Asia uh, or depending on who your family is. But anyways, um, yeah, it's the best time to be an Asian guy. I think it's pretty fair. There's a lot of arguments for that. Yeah, I think that guys should take that information and just like use it as a, put them in a proactive mindset yeah. to shoot forward. Because I think a lot of Asian guys, the biggest, one of the biggest problems is like when you feel like it's hopeless, you don't even want to waste the effort to attack exactly so it's like you got to attack because uh, there's a chance another truth that you have to accept is that dating is more complicated and complex and murky than ever before but now, andrew doesn't that just go against your point one how no. can it be the best ever and the most complex and murky no. ever it's the best time to be an asian man it is hard to date though and this go because this applies to everybody that's why there's so many black guys and white guys and all different types of guys on the internet with channels speaking to other young men. Are you talking about, about the male dating. improvement coaches? Yeah, and I'm not talking about Andrew Tate, dude. That's, that's not as helpful to listen to him. But I'm saying like there's actually a lot of YouTubers and people who have kind of glowed up and they're trying to talk to their own like communities or their so, fan base. So I guess what do you mean by, what, how do you specifically describe to somebody who's like, what do you mean it's more murky? All right, so it's more complex in the fact that there's a lot of online dating. Um, obviously there's dating, there's there's flings, there's hookups, there's the hookup culture, there's open relationships. A lot of people are marrying later. Obviously, the divorce rate is still high. That's true. A lot of people are swingers. Yeah, based off the dating apps. Dude, you know how it is. I've been on the dating apps before. It's very fleeting. You can you can have a spark with someone, even go on a date with them, and then they can ghost you the next time. Or maybe you do the ghosting. It has happened, right? Um, so I think that it's just not as straightforward and simple is what I mean. But that's for everybody. That's so what I want to say. So you're saying that even though it's better, you have to learn a lot more vocabulary. Because if you're probably, if you don't know any of these words, if you're like, hey, what's ghosting? Yeah. You, you might be in trouble. In short, the playing field for Asian men got more even for Asian men. So that's good. We got lifted. But the playing field is still tough for everybody. Right, right, right. I could see that. I, I think an easy video game analogy, Andrew, is that the expansion pack arrived, which made the game map more game map more complex. But let's just say Asian guys were viewed as the Zerg, the Zerg in World of Warcraft. Zerg, the, picking the Zerg is not, has less weaknesses than it used to. Let's just say a lot of dudes need to update their pack. All yeah. right? There's a lot of dudes you who are You got to get updated. more yeah. regular firmware updates. Yeah. Uh, another truth is that there is more knowledge, more literature, and more coaching than ever before on how to improve yourself and how to improve your dating life. A lot of these guys will try to sell you something. I'm not selling you on anything. I'm just letting you know there's a lot of free knowledge and there's a lot more 
other guys you can even find in within your community that can help talk you through it or even guide you or just like yeah. influence you. I you remember know? like getting good at basketball in the Asian community if you weren't in like California and the Japanese world was so hard at one point. But nowadays, Andrew, it feels like there's so many pro skills trainers even for youth yeah. in like Anywhereville, USA. Like, exactly, guys. But, but you still got to sign up for that. For professional sports, the skill and talent and athleticism has gone up. So that means the sports world is just as competitive as it's ever been. The NBA yeah. is just as competitive, but the talent floor has gone up. So we all have to raise our talents, basically. Yeah, but there's more access to those coaching facilities and one-on-one -on -one training exactly. than there's ever been. Exactly. So if you're a young person trying to get good at a sport and you haven't even YouTubed a coach on and a coach's advice, then you're lagging behind. That's a fact. Ooh, that's a good point. You got to be way more proactive yeah. yourself. So, so who did the dating pool get better for? This is my theory. This is my thesis, all right? This is, I'm going to list off who it got better for and who it got worse for okay. in the Asian world. So I think for the average Asian guy, it overall got a little bit better. Yes. It did. Just average Asian guy got a little bit better. Because well, there's, uh, the stereotypes are not as prevalent yeah. and, uh, the, the, the most yeah. negative ones are, are lessening. It's more frowned upon to make fun of Asian men in public, okay? So the small pee-pee stereotypes, you, you, you still might get those here and there, but it's really more frowned upon to be, you know, to, with the racial oh, stereotypes. 20 years ago, 10 years ago, bro, yep. you might have got it at work. Now yes. HR, they're getting that call. Exactly. Um, I think we're getting a lot more looks. I do think there's a lot more different types of people who are open to Asian men. Uh, they're looking for Asian men. I'm not saying Asian men are loved number one, but there is actually a portion of non-Asian women who are seeking Asian men. And that's something that probably didn't really hey, exist 20 yo, years ago. Shout out to Eastern Europe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of immigrant women, I think they appreciate Asian guys. Um, but also just a lot of open-minded people. Um, I think men who are benefiting a lot are obviously above average Asian men. I think they saw the biggest boost with the Asian rise. Are, are you talking about lookism? What I'm talking about, let me explain with a picture. Uh, this is a- are you, are you talking about the life of a high value male? <laughs> the high value Asian guys, yeah. I think the ones that were at the top of the pyramid, you can see they got the most dense boost. It's the most green at the top. It's true. I think that they saw their levels go through the roof. Now, I think all guys, all Asian guys saw a little bit of a lift, but, and we'll get a little bit more empathy from people, but I think the guys at the top, they got the biggest boost. Um, also, I think guys who are putting in the most effort and improving themselves, obviously they see a boost because like we said, the game is the game and you got to up your technique. You got to update your pack. You got to get the expansion pack. You got to do all these things. Um, and then rich dudes, rich dudes who know how to spend their money. Obviously, this whole dating pool, especially dating apps, it really benefits them. Right, because rich dudes have just ability to go to omakase on a first yes. date and then afterwards go to Michelin dish. Yeah, the buy table or whatever. Obviously, not all rich guys, rich guys still have to understand. And how to not use the all money. girls fully respond to exactly. deployment of capital, but I am not saying all women care about money like that. I'm there's just a saying, portion. I'm just saying, obviously, if you have money, it does make the experience easier. It has never hurt. It's never hurt anybody. It, yeah. I, I've never seen it uh, ever be But don't negative. think the money makes up for your crappy personality. That's true. Um, anyways, who did it get worse for, David? So I am going to go through who I think the dating pool got worse for as far as Asian guys. I think uh, men who only date through dating apps, who cannot handle the emotional or mental roller coaster that it is to be on a dating app. Right, and what right, I mean right. is that you face so much rejection, you face ghosting, you face, uh, you'll have sparks and then they flame out. And basically if you cannot handle that up and down right. of online dating, it's gonna be very, very hard for you. Right, you're like, finally I matched with this girl of my yeah. dreams. And then just like one message, no reply. Exactly. Just dead in. Yeah, to me, I faced a lot of rejection in person, you know, even in our early, uh, in my college days or early 20s. So by the time I got on the apps, I felt like rejection from the apps is not that big of a deal. So this is where if you only started dating on the apps and that's all you know, as far as dating, it can really really wear down on you mm. but you got to know what it's like to get rejected in person to your face yeah just so you know getting rejected uh, online is I, nothing i would agree that having thick skin and a thick mental skin they're probably more important now than ever let me tell you guys being successful on the dating apps requires mental and emotional fortitude which a lot of men don't have okay what, what is the next accent? group of people where like you said 
as overall, it's better, but there's some groups yeah. that it did, you're acknowledging got worse for. Exactly. I think men who don't put in effort, men who are not thinking about how to improve, men who are outdated, men who need to update their style pack, their personality pack. Listen, again, if you've never looked up... Fitness pack. Yeah. Yes, exactly. If you feel like you have trouble in dating and you've never looked and really thought about self-improvement in a holistic way, you're behind. So you're saying if you're not running the hardcore firmware updates. Exactly. Yeah, no, I think some people, like I said, they wanted to be like their grandpa where their grandpa just got like assigned a wife and you just hope that it was a good looking wife that you vibe with when you arrived and then life was like uh, the farm days. Yeah. It ain't like the farm days anymore. It ain't like the farm days anymore, okay? It is true. Your parents are introducing you to less possible suitors and matches. It's true because back in the day, you might meet no. someone through a family yeah. friend, through the you're, organization. You're saying the folksy style is going away. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The so world- that's what I'm saying. That's why I said earlier when I said really f- guys who are tapped into the folksy 1920s lifestyle could be taking an L if they don't update. Yeah, the why are you stuck in the 1920s lifestyle? You got to understand what it is nowadays. And I'm not saying, listen, I think if you're deep in the church world and like, you know, the temple world or like- Because sometimes kinda, that could be more yeah, folksy. More in a religious world. Like if you go to like a Sikh temple, if you're like, you know, Indian, whatever, whatever. You, if you're religious, obviously those worlds tend to operate a little bit more traditionally. Old world. Yeah, sure. That's, which is good. If that's the world you're in, you'll meet a lot of people through that community. But I'm just saying, if you don't, have that as part of your life, and you're only on the apps dating, then you have to update your technique, period. Makes sense, makes sense. So let's go into the comment section real quick for some other perspective because that was kind of my perspective. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. It kind of reminds me of some people who have not acknowledged that like basketball is all about like long range shooting and like off ball action. Yeah. In 2023, if you ain't shooting the long bomb and you ain't setting screens off ball screen in the screener, how are you going to get open? Yeah, if you're not super tall and you can't hit an open three, good luck. Good luck. That's the way the game has changed. Update the basketball firmware pack. Let's just get into four interesting comments that we pulled off the internet, Andrew. This guy said, Asian men have gotten a lift amongst other men, but dating overall as a market became worse and more complicated. Like, Yeah, I think I do agree with this because that's what we were saying, that dating got more complicated. I don't know if dating got worse because I think if dating, by dating, you mean like, you know, dating around, No, he's, up. Saying, he's saying that it turned into a winner-takes-all situation. Uh, you know yeah. where the top 10, 20%, like th- this top weight, it's almost like tennis stars. You know, like once you get past like the top, top tennis stars, they're not making that much money. Yeah. Yeah, no, same with golfers. Like, there's only, like, a handful of golfers that are super they rich make off all golf. the money, right? Yeah, but there's a lot of pro golfers that are in the game. But uh, I kind of agree. I don't love the whole 80-20 rule. You know, like, David, guys on the internet will throw it. Oh, yeah, 80% of women only want 20% of guys. That's why I can't get a date. I'm like, I don't think it's 80-20. I think that they're going to get a lot of the looks, but I think that there's always self-improvement, and I think it's not as lopsided as that. So I'm going to argue on the percentage, like yeah, yeah, percentage yeah. breakdown. I, I think that maybe sometimes guys underestimate how much self-improvement is self-improvement, though. It's not just like switching to Diet Cokes. Or like no, Coke no, it's, like, it's holistic. Holistic it's like meaning one, all around, It's like guys. one of a hundred things that maybe you need to do. <laughs> Somebody said, I feel like it's easier for Asian men to date nowadays due to K-pop and stuff. I think that's just like a crazy statement to just be like, oh yeah, Asian guys date more because of K-pop. I'm like, no, I think it gets Asian guys more interest. Obviously, I think if you fall more closer to the K-pop world or K-drama world in particular. Closer I, to the blast zone. It's not really K-pop as much, dude. There's not that many guys who look like K-pop stars. It's more guys who look like K-drama stars, let's be honest, like Park Sojun and stuff. But I'm saying, if you fall closer to that, you definitely saw a larger boost. But I think, again, that I just think Asian guys in general are getting looks. Like, I've been on dates with girls who was like, oh yeah, I dated a Korean or Vietnamese guy first or Chinese guy. Like, and I think to a lot of girls, it just made them more okay with being out with an Asian guy. It doesn't mean that you have to be Korean. Right, right. Somebody said, it is as hard or as easy as you make it and the effort you put in. You see posts of Asian men killing it, pity partying and everything in between. I think that a lot of it is perspective, man. And uh, again, I'm not going to tell somebody because I don't know everybody's situation out there. I'm I'm not going to be like, oh, it's your fault, right? But of course, I'm just saying like, there is, there is a, it, it is mental. A lot of the game is mental. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Always, it's, it's, it's always really is. depends, like, man. Like, one thing I realized as I got older as far as, like, talking about, to Asian guys about dating is, like, people have seen such different reps 
to the point where their perspectives are almost like not even fully aligned, you yeah. know, but the, the more reps you've seen, let's say, for example, you worked in nightlife, you worked as a club promoter, as a bartender, as a blah, 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 blah. Like then those people's up, up perspectives will more align because they've seen the most reps. Yes. Yes. I think at the end of the day, you have to talk to people who have seen a lot of reps. If you even and diverse if, reps, if too, you've yeah. only seen three reps and they've all been bad, well, you need to talk to someone who's seen a hundred reps, right? Because then to yourself internally, you can justify, well, a hundred percent of my reps yes. that I've seen logically went this way. And it's like, but did you even see enough sample size? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, this guy said this, he summed it up saying, I'm assuming that dating might be easier if you, especially if you have your shiz together, but harder to find somebody who you want to be serious with or marry. I think there's, I think there's truth to this. I think uh, it is harder to lock someone down or to lock yourself down and to commit now than ever, you know, uh, with all the options at play. Yeah. And I feel like the people who do link up early, they're the more traditionally minded people in a community. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like th those are the people who are pairing off yeah. earlier and having, you know, the more old school lifestyle in the new school yeah. earlier. But I think if you are a decent person you're improving yourself, you're trying to look good, you're taking good photos, you're sociable, and you're not a weirdo, then I think you can meet a lot of people, especially mm. in the big cities. You can meet a right. lot of people, even if you're Asian, yeah. I mean, specifically, you're talking about through the internet. Through, mean, the, through, yeah, apps, through the yeah. apps, yeah. Um, but again, through the apps, you have to try mm. to make your profile good on the app. So anyways- uh, So the apps open up the game, but if you don't learn the apps and learn the game, then you just open to yourself up to a whole world of taking L's. Yes, yes. Here's the thing. Here's the, to wrap it all up, guys. Dating apps are complicated, and I think if you do not try hard at them, they basically feel like a trap to you, which I can see. I can see An why L you would, trap. Yeah, just a big old L trap. Uh, but obviously, it has benefited a lot of people, and a lot of people have succeeded at it. So I think that... Um, you have to know. You have to know that you gave it a good shot, an actual good shot, and that means, capitalism is here, guys. Yeah. But you got to learn capitalism. Let, let me wrap this up. Listen, if you're an Asian guy, and this is a lot of Asian dudes out there, and I can empathize sort of with this situation. If you're an Asian guy, you didn't grow up around all this masculinity talk. Your dad wasn't like coaching you. You didn't have an uncle. You didn't have a coach close to you. You didn't have an older cousin putting you on a game. Uh, maybe you didn't play a lot of team sports, okay? Maybe you focused on school. Maybe there's a language barrier between you and your parents and your relatives. Um, and you just didn't have a lot of this unintentional, natural environment coaching for these things on how to talk to women, how to be masculine, how to improve yourself, how to be fit, how to be cool, how to be confident. A lot of people did not get this coaching. Well, specifically second generation yeah. immigrants. And it's probably specifically Chinese. I mean, extra. I mean, I'm not yeah. saying all Asians didn't, but extra for Chinese. And it is not your fault that that happened. But now that you're older and you're an adult, it is your fault if you know that you're from that situation and you don't do anything about it. Yeah, that's true. So, you, can't, you can't watch all the video game playthroughs and then watch JJ Reddick break down floppy action yeah. and you didn't watch anything about like how to impact your life yeah. today. Exactly. You have to acknowledge that you are behind. Very few people are going to tell you that to your face, right? Very few people are going to be like, yo, bro, you're lagging behind. And then you're going to even have to take that, accept it, and then start the process of doing better. So the earlier you know that, the, the better, right? So yeah. that's that's my thing. I mean, I feel like that, uh, so I guess to wrap it up, I think dating did get easier for Asian men, but dating in general got more complicated and complex. So that requires Asian men who were started behind in the coaching to kind of get ahead and start updating themselves. Yeah, for example, guys, let's just break up life into like eight different aspects. You got to understand that certain aspects in your life organically, probably the firmware deck or the upgrades are further along than other ones. What could you do to bring them, bring them all up to speed? Yeah. Just yeah. think about it. Yeah. Just think about it. Just take the first step. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully this video helped somebody out there. Uh, this is not the first time or the last time we're going to talk about Asian male dating. That was my perspective. You could tell me if I'm wrong, if you disagree, whatever. Encourage debate yeah, in the comments section, Let me section, know guys. in the comments down below what you thought about that, but hopefully it reached somebody. So until next time, everybody, we are the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.